And welcome to The Brunch Show on Value Chain TV. Yes, you heard me, The Brunch Show. The Brunch Show is a show that provokes conversation and brings you topical issues around the world. My name is Amarachi Kenneth, and I'm your host for the show. Let's see what the pages are saying this morning. Flipping through the pages of Daily Trust, it says Nigerians debts now 87.9 trillion naira, says DMO. That's a lot of money to owe. Uh, moving on, still on the pages of Daily Trust, it says Tinibu cuts bus fare by 50%. Hmm. Let's flip and see what the nation's newspaper is saying. Now, the nation's newspaper says Nigerian equities market value hit 40 trillion naira. Hmm. Uh, still on the pages of the nation says Yuletide, federal government offers free train ride to travelers. Free train ride to travelers. This is good, if you ask me. I mean, yeah, it is good. So you have no excuse uh, whatsoever not to travel uh, this season. Now, flipping through the pages also, let's see what, um, let's see what um, Vanguard newspaper is saying. Now, on Vanguard newspaper, it says financial analysts raise concern over rise in Nigerians' debt. Uh, still on the pages of uh, Vanguard, it says, You tied. Uh, Tinibu cuts transport fare by 50%, still making another appearance right here. Now, a lot of uh, people are asking, you cutting down, you know, the, uh, the, the bus fare or the transport fare, who is going to compensate the transport, you know, uh, companies? All right, that's, that, that's the question. A lot of people are asking, you know, the transport uh, you know, companies are asking, if you're cutting down this uh, fare, what happens to us? But we are going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, let's flip and see what Daily Independence is saying. Now, on the pages of Daily Independence, it says, Telco struggled to deploy, you know, uh, services as subscribers' interest fades. Okay, still on Daily Independence, it says, Tinibu cuts interstate luxury buses fare by 50% still making another appearance here all right let's see what leadership is saying on leadership it says labor dismisses federal government's 50% cut in transport fare now um the labor you know dismissing this just only makes sense because nigerians are asking all right, the transport companies are asking, you're not selling this fuel at a subsidized price for us. Okay, if the government says, okay, um, if you're buying fuel at 675 uh, or, you know, 700 per liter, I don't know, okay, can you, you know, subsidize this price for us let us let us buy fuel at um say 350 naira okay then it only makes sense when you're saying the transport should be uh, uh, the transport fare should be cut down by 50 percent all right if you're doing this then i feel like both parties should enjoy you know whatever it is you're subsidizing because you can't you can't cut down 50 percent and then the transport fare or the transport companies are suffering if you agree with what I said or if you are <laughs> not agreeing, I want to hear your conversation on the comment section. But think about it critically. If you're making everything beautiful, it should just be beautiful all around. If the transport companies are enjoying the, um, you know, uh, the, the citizens also, that is, or the passengers rather, because the transport companies are citizens too, the passengers should also enjoy. So subsidizing the affair, you should also subsidize the fuel uh, that you know, or the price that you know, the um, what's it called now? The transport companies are buying. So both ways, everyone is happy. All right, let's go for a quick break. We will be right back. Is the brunch here? At Value Chain TV, we are building a unique brand of business and economy reporting. As we end the year, follow us on our transition to full-scale broadcast in 2024 with a rich lineup of fantastic programs. Here is a toast to our nearly 1,000 subscribers on YouTube who have made 2023 an exciting year. 
stick to our channel this holidays and enjoy a sneak preview of our programs coming your way from our team we're wishing you a fantastic Christmas and a prosperous new year ahead Merry Christmas and exciting new year wish you a Merry Christmas and a thrilling new year from Value Chain TV, we wish you a Merry Christmas, a glamorous and a fabulous New Year. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and electrifying New Year. Merry Christmas and a booming New Year. When I'm coming at the beginning Christmas, you're the most beautiful star boy shaker. Merry Christmas, wishing you 2024 with pleasant memories. Welcome back. If you are just watching, yes, you're watching The Brunch Show on Value Chain TV. Now in the world of entertainment, recently Davido hosted a show in Port Harcourt and it was wild. Yes, it was. You know, Davido gifted an overzealous fan 10 million naira. Can you imagine? That's a lot of money in this economy. You know, this girl was cheering, she was dancing, she was vibing, she was shouting. <laughs> and then he called her up on stage and gave her a gift of 10 million naira. That's a lot of money. Now, you see why it's good to go out. It's good to go to for shows and everything. When they say go out, you say no, you will not go out. Now this girl won 10 million naira, and he says he is celebrating Christmas, you know, for her. It's a season of giving. It's a beautiful season. And David o has always, you know, been that one celebrity that is a giver. You know, David o is always giving. He's, you know, his. You you hear news of David o gifting someone one million naira, two million naira, five million naira. You know, a lot of money going out of his pocket every other time. And I'm so grateful that. He he is a giver. It's good to give, especially in this festive season. Now, congratulations to the girl that got her 10 million era. And it's also good when you go for concerts, please stay in the front rows where they can see you and share very well. I'm giving you tips now. <laughs> hey, but thank you so much for watching. This is where we call it a wrap. It's an amazing time spending here with you. Always a delight to be here with you. I'll catch you next time on the next episode of The Brunch Show on Value Chain TV. My name is Amarachi Kenneth. Happy holidays. Bye. <laughs>